Hey, what's going on, social media family? Uh, Michael Cabradia and our daughters right here in sunny San Diego, California. We have been reading through this book right here, 100 Simple Secrets to Happy People. And we are on page number, or not page, but chapter number 32. And it's called Exercise. So essentially what we've been doing is we've been reading through the chapter. It's typically less than two pages long. And we've been reading it really just to encourage each other uh, of creating habits to make us happier for our family, uh, for our relatives, for our business partners, our coworkers, our community as a whole. So here we go. So exercise. People who exercise, whether that involves an intense workout or just a regular long walk, feel healthier, feel better about themselves, and they enjoy life more. A prominent executive used to say, whenever the thought occurs to me that maybe I should exercise, I lie down until the thought passes. He said this a lot, and not surprisingly, his philosophy led him directly to a lack of energy and soon to health problems. His doctors impressed on him the necessity of changing his lifestyle, and the executive gave it a try. To his surprise, he found he actually enjoyed exercising. It was a chance to spend some time every day without any worries or concerns, doing something positive, and instead of making him tired, exercise actually increased his energy. So what's his philosophy now? I enjoy exercise so much, I can hardly put it into words. Remember that word philosophy. Research on physical activity finds that exercise increases self-confidence, which in turn strengthens self-evaluations, and then regular exercise, including brisk walks, directly increases happiness 12% and can indirectly make a dramatic contribution to improving self-image. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been able to pay attention or if you're paying attention to them, uh, but it's so interesting because earlier today, I actually uh, did take uh, you know a walk, which turned into a light jog, and then I was out there for about 25 minutes, uh, really just you know breaking up, breaking out a sweat, and um, walking around the neighborhood, and uh, really just it gave me a moment to really think, to reflect, uh, you know, be able to breathe, uh, breathe in fresh air, that type of thing, and I really did feel it. Uh, I loved how it made me feel. I loved uh, you know that how I felt afterwards. I felt as if I accomplished something, uh, and then it caused me. To want to work out a little bit more so after i ran i did some push-ups i you know lifted some weights a little bit which i i typically am not on a good routine to doing but it caused me to do things that i probably would have not done unless i had just gone out there and said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna go out there and walk and this was after my wife came home and she had come back from a light walk or a light jog and i said you know what you did it i'm gonna do it too so maybe that's something, right? When you have somebody to work out with or somebody who can keep you accountable for actually going out there and doing it, it can help you to increase happiness. So back to when I said, remember that uh, word philosophy. So years ago, I learned from one of our mentors uh, that uh, there was an acronym called PARL, P-A-A-R-L. Philosophies, attitude, actions, uh, results and then lifestyle. So philosophy, attitude, action, results, lifestyle. The philosophies that you have will determine the attitude that you have and the attitude that you have will determine the actions that you take and the actions that you take will determine the results that you get and the results that you get will determine the lifestyle that you're able to live. And it all starts with philosophy. Notice it says here, the philosophy before was Whenever the thought occurs to me that maybe I should exercise, I lie down until a thought passes. He changed that philosophy to, I enjoy exercise so much, I can hardly put it into words. Now think about it. Think about the bad habits or maybe the not so good habits that are in our lives where all we need to do is maybe shift in regards to our philosophy that we have about it so that we can do those particular habits or do those particular exercises that will help us to be happier, help us to have a better life. So feel free to put some comments in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. What does this make you think of? Are you on an exercise routine? Are you not? How does exercise make you feel? And are there philosophies that maybe we need to shift or change in order to have a better lifestyle? 
So take care, God bless. And the giggling kids in the back, say bye. Hey, that covered me. <laughs> See you later. Take care. God bless. Bye.